Hey there, Mission Control. Well, in this video, we're gonna start getting the 3D printer all set up. First thing we gotta do is lay it all out. As you can see, when I said big, I meant it was big. It's gonna take us a little while to put this all together, but I'm really excited to do it. We are gonna start unboxing the Modix 120 uh, version 3 printer. Now, this is a procurement. This is not a sponsorship. Um, Eating Grow Systems bought this. Uh, I'm part of Eating Grow Systems, and uh, we're using it because we sent out all of our uh, quotes for builds, uh, for prototypes, and they all came back extremely expensive, uh, far more than we were anticipating, measured in hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, it's cheaper to buy this printer and print them ourselves since they are prototypes and then worry about raising the money in our Series A. So what we need to do is uh, get this printer uh, all in box, get everything laid out here on the nice clean shop floor, uh, shop slash barn floor that has Betsy the Boss still running around in it, oh well, and uh, see about getting this thing assembled here in this video. I looked online for quite a few hours trying to find different, or the large scale 3D printers that we need. I have a Creality 3DS, which is a, uh, what is it, 12 inch by 12 inch print capability. Uh, that's really big, uh, but we need uh, two feet, that's, that's 24 inches uh, that we need to be able to print. Is that one, two thirds of a meter. Uh, so everything looks really well packaged here. So through all my searching, this Modix, uh, it's a Israeli based company uh, and they seem to have the best uh, product out there that I could find at a really good price, uh, less than $10,000. For a large scale 3D printer like this, I know some of you right now are, are gasping, um, but remember we're comparing that to hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? So it's, uh, it, it, it's a pretty big deal to find something at this price point. Everything appears to be uh, labeled here so far. So we'll just get it all out. I like to get everything out in front of me. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but when I get a big project like this, it seems insurmountable. I, I want to just get it all out in front of me, you know? See what we have to work with. So anyway, from Israel, emailed them, talked to them, and uh, tried to get them to sponsor it. <laughs> uh, but that was no-go. I'm not a big enough channel for that. <clears throat> and uh, anyway, bought one. Built in Hong Kong. Remember that scene in Armageddon where they're up on the space station and they're like, American components, Russian components, all made in Taiwan. I still remember that. <laughs> Anyway, so it's here. It took about uh, oh, about two weeks for it to get here, and then I had to pay about three hundred dollars in import fees to Uncle Sam. And here we are. This also. Uh, we have the option to procure a frame, a housing that the whole thing goes into uh, that helps with temperature control. Uh, it's not required, highly desired, highly recommended. Whoa, look at all these pieces, oh my goodness. This is going to take a long time, folks. Oh my goodness, look at all those little pieces. We're in for a party today. Yeah, you definitely got to get this all laid out. I don't even know which box has the instructions. Probably one of those small boxes, huh? Two more boxes to go. One of the things that Modix professes on their site, the reason why their printers are better than others, is because they use high-grade materials, uh, not the cheap stuff. I'm not a 3D printing expert, so I couldn't tell you if the nozzle or the head or all those things were the best, but from what other people who are 3D experts say, 
what comes with this is this pretty good set of equipment. So don't take it from me, take it from them, do your own research, but I'm excited to see it. And you can certainly see all the components laid out on the floor here. Oh boy. Well, you can see how much space this thing takes up when it's in parts. I have yet to find an instruction manual, which they must have emailed me. Heat brake and the Titan Aero Extruder. So I shot them uh, an email. When you buy it, they're supposed to give you a username and password. They just haven't sent it to me yet uh, so that you can log on to their support site where they have their um, manuals at, all digital, with a whole bunch of videos. Looks like it's going to be, as far as instructions, some of the best I've ever seen. But I uh, grabbed my laptop, which was out at the site, and as soon as I plug this power brick in and up here, it keeps tripping the GFCI uh, that we installed. So hey, good news. Uh, the GFCI works great. It does its job. Bad news is this cable was frayed and all that, so I'm hoping that I found the spot. Uh, you know, I always say there's something here. There's always something. So I'm using uh, my butt connectors here, which are, have a heat shrink on them. And then I'll heat shrink uh, the cable afterwards here. It should look, look pretty darn good by the time we're done with it here. And hopefully it'll stop popping the breaker because we're going to need that computer going. Otherwise, I'll have to use my old uh, Samsung S7 that I have that I keep around there on the table. But you can see this workshop's already really earning every dollar we spent to uh, get it set up. Just so much nicer, easier to find everything, so much nicer to get around in. And I put on the wrong size. Of course you did, Jeff. Of course you did. Put on the wrong size sheathing. Should have went a size up. Mental note for everybody, when you're doing heat shrink, go with the size up. Don't get one that just fits. Go with the next size up. Put it on and we'll put electrical on the rest. I was hoping to have the nice pretty fix, but I do stuff very often. Remember when I did all those cables for have one? And I was getting good at this. But when you don't do it very often, it's something that you easily forget the little secrets on. We'll see if this actually did the job. As soon as I plugged this in before, the GFCI popped. That's a good news story. Oh, there it goes. Something's wrong with that particular power brick, so that's not good. All right, so I just got all these parts laid out, and as you can see, there are a ton of them, and there's still more behind me. Uh, we're working on laying everything out. I got the instructions up on the computer, so now we can start finding parts and uh, get started assembling, but man, this is going to be a long day. So I find it really easy to have the laptop set up to actually read off of, but then when I need to get parts, this seems to be the way to do it. Alright, so I have the M3 parts. Okay. Uh, this thing is so big, we had it assembled out here to start with, just the frame. It can't fit through the door, so we had to take it apart and move it back into the shop. Let me show you. You get an idea of how big this printer is yet? This thing's huge. Uh, it's almost six feet long by uh, almost three feet wide, about four feet tall. Close, I'm rounding up here. It's so big that we actually have to put a platform on top of the benches that we put back there uh, so that it can all be supported. This thing is really big. Well, it's been uh, a full day's worth of work here. Uh, it took us a while to get everything unboxed, get it all sorted, laid out, kind of figure out the lay of the land. Then we had to get the instructions uh, from support, uh, Modic support, um, they got me my password and logged in, and the instructions are fantastic. Uh, I mean, they're really, really well written, very good sequence. Uh, they have video and text, so um, it's really great. The packaging on this has been superior to any I've seen before. Um, 
I'm not 3D printer packaging, just packaging in general. It's just superior. Every part is packaged individually, protected, and uh, I think everything that is small is all labeled. Uh, so there's no guessing, uh, having to get your measuring tape out and measure. That is one issue uh, that I noticed. All the uh, measurements, of course, are in metric, uh, and I don't have a metric uh, tape measure. So some of these things we've had to convert to... Uh, uh, Imperial so that I can get figure out what piece is what but you can see this thing is coming together uh, we've got the main structure together uh, we've got uh, some of the uh, bearings and holders for those bearings all in place the guides are all here uh, ready to be put together we'll do that on Monday taking tomorrow off it's Sunday for me and uh, gonna go have some fun with my wife uh, my super awesome helper uh, has got the uh, back shelf uh, put together and uh, sturdy, uh, really, really solid. So as these motors move, you know, the big concern is the motors move, they stop they, and they move very quickly and that induces a vibration, not a large force, but a vibration. And that vibration can screw up everything. It can, can screw up your level uh, and you definitely don't want that on a 3D printer. Even my Creelty is sensitive to that vibration. So this big guy it's gonna be very sensitive to it, especially as the prints start getting taller and taller. So anyway, we have a long way to go. I think we've probably maybe touched a quarter, maybe an eighth to a quarter of the quantity of parts that we need to put this together. So I think there's probably at least another day, a full day, if not two days uh, of assembly on this. Um, but I'm really happy with the instructions. Uh, the, you know, honestly, the biggest problem is just how small everything is in your fingers and using everything. Um, mine are all chewed up from the, the previous work. I got splinters, I've got gaps missing, I got cuts from issues that happened during the build and touching those little screws and holding them is actually kind of hard right now. <laughs> so, oh man, problems. Anyway, we'll work through them. It's a good day's worth of work. Really happy that we're done with this build on the shop. I, I, just going and finding tools and seeing, you know, it, it makes me actually want to clean up now. Like before, I didn't care. You just throw stuff in and whoop de doo it's dirty anyway. But now that you have a nice shop, you want to keep it clean. We'll see how long that lasts. But uh, man, it is nice. I'm really, really grateful for everybody's help and what God has provided. And just this new shop is fantastic and once we get this in it's going to take up i told you guys it was going to take up this whole thing it's going to take up it goes all the way up to here uh and, and up to about there so it is huge um we might have a problem here with this shelf and doors we'll find out uh if we do we're just going to remove that section uh of shelving which we still have plenty so okay Thanks for following along, everybody. Really do appreciate all the subscribers that are out there. You know, there's 30 some odd thousand people that are watching our channel. I actually looked it up on the Nielsen reports. So that's more than like a hundred of the main uh, news network channels that are out there, which is pretty cool. So thank you to all of you for following along. Really appreciate it. Tell your friends about us. You can do so through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you'd like to support what we're doing, even a dollar a day, or a dollar a month, man, a dollar a day would be awesome, but no, a dollar a month on Patreon uh, would really be helpful. You could do so by following the link below. Really appreciate those. Um, that form of assistance is great. Um, but anyway, I'm really tired. Sorry, I am dragging right now. Uh, I just need to finish. So this is Real Martian, everybody. Out.